A lot on the ground at the moment. And it looks like a winter wonderland out there. We're certainly feeling the winter temperatures, seven degrees in O'Fallon, Missouri. And this doesn't even take into account the wind chill. As you can see, the wind's already blowing those flags straight out of the north. The wind is coming from, and it's bitter out there. It feels like minus 12 in St. Louis, minus 10 in Chesterfield, minus 15 in Bowling Green. And we're going to have wind chills this morning as low as minus 25. And just because of how cold it feels. This morning is a first alert weather day, but we will have a little bit of improvement by the afternoon. Our temperatures lower than 10 degrees. We are slowly going to warm things up if you can even call it warming. Wind chill advisory in effect through noon. Wind chills between minus 15 and minus 25 are expected area wide over the next couple of hours. We have clear skies at the moment. That's one of the reasons why it's so cold. We still have the snow on the ground, but if you zoom out, it gives us a clue as to our next system that's coming in. Low pressure is going to develop over Alberta, Canada. That's going to take a dive to the southeast, impacting us late Sunday night through Monday morning. And we're looking at snow to come with that low pressure as it moves in. So if you are going to be driving Monday morning, this is going to impact you. So you got to be careful about that. Here's your Christmas Eve planner, 17 degrees is the high temperature today if you can even call it a high but at least it's some improvement from yesterday's temperatures but the wind chill staying right around three degrees for the afternoon feels like zero degrees when you step out by six o'clock or 8 p.m so if you're going to any holiday parties you're going to be adding on those extra layers stay inside if possible due to this cold what about Christmas Day? We're looking at a little bit of improvement as well. 23 for the high temperature in the afternoon. It will be chilly, but at least we will have that sun. That is some improvement. We are going to have a white Christmas because we'll still have that snow on the ground. And then we're going to add a little bit more of accumulations on top of this when that clipper system I told you about heads our way. There's still some uncertainty on the exact track of that low pressure. Right now it's tracking a little bit to the northeast, which means we're going to see decreasing snow fall amounts here upwards of a half inch that's going to be possible but any shift in this track to the south for example could mean that we see a bit more snow so we had that primarily monday morning by the afternoon can't rule out a few flurries but the impacts of this will lessen so again if you're driving on monday that's what you need to watch we have that first alert weather day in effect just for the morning primarily as that snow is falling we're going to be at 30 degrees for the high temperature Monday, 30 on Tuesday. And then I promised you all we have some better conditions, mm. warmer temperatures by the end of the week, Thursday, Friday. Look at that. We're back in the 50s. But the uh, trade off with this is now we're talking rain chances. Okay. Well, I will take rain over snow. <laughs> Thank you, Leah.